What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how we can use Instagram to find people to shoot with. So today I'm down Harrogate and we're down for the wedding weekend and Rara's helping out with some stuff. So I decided that I would take some time out and shoot some portraits. So what I did is headed on to Instagram and did a search for Harrogate and Harrogate models just so I can sort of find some people to shoot with and shot a couple of people messages and managed to arrange some shoots. This video is just going to be sort of like a behind the scenes of shooting and documenting different things about how I came around sort of using Instagram to find people. So the first thing I did was you go into Instagram and you could do a search for hashtag. So I put hashtag Harrogate model because obviously we're in Harrogate and we're looking for a model to shoot with. And there's quite a lot of things that came up with that and you got like sort of hashtag Harrogate vlogger hashtag Harrogate blogger and that sort of thing like a lot of people like that use pictures for the profiles and that sort of thing so I'd be really interested in shooting and I also did a location search so you can put in Harrogate and it brings up the location you can sort of browse there and see what people are doing so there's quite a lot of quite a few models actually with the hashtag Harrogate model tagline and dropped a couple of messages. Um, there's a guy that I was going to shoot with who's unfortunately he's in Italy until the end of the week and a couple of others sort of some people didn't respond and some people said they were busy with it being short notice because it was only a week but uh, it managed to sort some so that's always a bonus but if you're trying to arrange shoots then I would recommend doing it in advance rather than short notice like what I did and just sort of a couple of days before oh hi fancy shooting I'm in Harrogate this is my portfolio this is like the sort of thing we want to do so yeah so here in Harrogate now and we're in the middle of doing the shoot so I just want to introduce yourself hi um, uh, my channel name is Roxy L and um, I'm 18 and I blog and I do YouTube and um, yeah <laughs> and lives in Harrogate yeah and I live in Harrogate <laughs> Hence why, um, you know, we, we're doing the shoot today. So when we were messaging, we were just discussing a couple of ideas of where to go and stuff. And obviously not being from the area, didn't know. So this is the park where we chose. Yeah, Valley Gardens. <laughs> and it's really pretty in here. So because I'm local, I was just like, yeah, there's loads of places that you can come in here because it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it, shoot's all done, perfect. Uh, we were using the Godox AD200 and the Fuji X-T2 with the 50-140mm uh, lens and uh, it was going all right. Uh, got some cracking shots, so looking forward to getting them edited and obviously at the end of the video you'll see some shots from it as well. What we're gonna do is just sort of have a little breakdown of basically what I was doing to search on Instagram for people, but we're gonna do it a bit different. So. At the minute, as you can see, you've got the phone up. And um, what I'm going to do is sort of, if you're looking for someone, so this one here, Newcastle model, what you do is the place that you're going to be going that you want to shoot is you put that beforehand and put model or models or sort of model agency, that sort of thing. It brings up a whole variety of different things. So now you search for it. What I do is click on recent and it'll show you all the latest posts from different things. And then you'll be able to sort of scroll through and then whatever style of person that you want to shoot with then you can sort of quite easily find them so like this one here is kieran so and this is pictures by alan from when we did the nelson creative night with us um so if you wanted like if he did a lot of cosplay stuff then there's a good cosplay one or if you go further down you got different people like if you wanted something um a little bit alternative so there's Kelly Austin there so I did the shoot with Kelly so we did the small bombs and that was really good so if you're doing a search for a specific area with a model and you want a sort of specific style of model then this is perfect so you can just sort of browse the feed and uh, look through and find whatever so see there's Kelly again and it all depends on what you're looking to shoot and what sort of what the models normally generally shoot so obviously there's Emma Dover there, worked with her before and uh, you can just sort of browse and say like like this one here, so this is Danielle which is Kelly Austin's sister and if you want sort of just like a natural 
style to do some location fashion portraits then if you found her on the location where you're going with model you just sort of go on the profile see where they are so obviously County Durham Newcastle check some of the pictures and all you do is just send them a message and say look I'm in the area fancy shooting do you want to shoot check out my portfolio and uh, get back to us so yeah that's just one of the ways that you can use Instagram to find people to shoot portraits with um, the other way which I said about earlier is if you go on the location section and if you just do a search on the location that you go into it brings up more images but sometimes it's just of that location rather than just sort of your models or people who are interested in shooting some photography but if you're doing it that way if it if they haven't got Newcastle model or Sunland model or wherever you're going or wherever you're located model it's a lot sort of expands the horizons a bit more and we found quite a few people just by putting in CM or Merton to where our studio is just to get them people local to the studio to get them into take photographs and joining the creative nights and all that sort of thing hope that helped you and if it does remember to give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and see you next time bye